Walking is something that most people learn how to do at a very young age. Machines, however, are having a little bit more of a difficult time learning. I mean, of course, if you compare to things like Boston Dynamics, uh, it seems like we've made a lot of really great strides, if you know what I mean. But for being honest, walking and robots has always been a pretty difficult thing to pair together, and it's not really any different in Trail Makers, but I tried my best to search for some cool looking walkers on the workshop. I don't really know much more about them other than I thought that they look cool. Are they gonna work? Are they actually gonna walk? How are they gonna walk? Let's find out. We're starting with the ATST Imperial Walker by Heyo It's Mayo. So right off the bat, this thing looks amazing, and it is clear that it definitely has some auto stabilization here, very common uh, among walkers. Walkers. I'd be really impressed if I find a walker that doesn't use some type of auto stabilization, especially if it's bipedal. I mean, if it has like four or six legs, you don't really need the auto stabilization. But uh, let's figure out. Oh, I got a gun in the front here. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Oh, and it has some um, some servo turning, so you don't actually have to use the legs to turn, which is another great bonus. Something that is super hard to incorporate into walkers is actually getting it to turn with the walking motion. But here we go. Uh, it's walking now. I press the space bar. And now it's, it's on its own. It's, it's walking all by itself. So proud of him. <laughs> this actually, this looks really unsettling. In one hand, it kind of looks like a more natural movement than it's not that rigid. But on the other hand, the way that it's not rigid, it, it's a little bit unsettling for some reason. I don't know what it is about it. But uh, we got a couple, we got a few more buttons here. Oh, it looks like I can turn the head slightly left and right. And I'm assuming that there are, there's cannons. Oh, there they are. There's the cannon. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, there's a face on the back. <laughs> Look at the face on the back. I didn't even notice that. All right, so that is uh, the ATST Imperial Walker, and I'm kind of tempted. I'm just gonna leave it there walking, and we're gonna spawn in another walker. I don't know if it's gonna have weapons or not, but it might be kind of fun to um, pit them against each other a little bit. So this is the Heinlein powered Exo Armor by Mimetic Soup. Apparently it flies and walks. All right, let's see if I can figure out how to use this thing. Oh, it looks like this walker is slowly turning towards me. Um, okay. Look at that, dude. Those are interesting. Those must be like jetpack stuff or something. How do I walk? Forward button? Oh, here we go. <laughs> this has a very strange walking mechanic. It, like, it takes two steps at a time and then pauses for a little bit. It's like one, two, one, two, one, two. Everything likes to walk in circles so far, doesn't it? Um, we're supposed to be able to fly too. Number one. Oh yeah, here we go. Yeah, now you can see the jetpack thing at work. You can go forward like that. Backwards seems a little bit broken. Like one of them doesn't want to uh, go all the way backwards. That's a little bit interesting. And X's guns. Oh yeah, here we go. Here we go. Come on, let's do some damage. Oh, that was actually pretty epic. How is it still up? We have a one-legged walker. How are you still up? I mean, I know it's using the auto stabilization, but that's a little bit, that's kind of ridiculous. What happens when you lose your legs? Yes, there we go, finally. <laughs> All right, it's still trying to walk, but I, I was wondering if it was gonna like hover or something, if it has some type of hover thing or whatever, but no, it appears it just keeps itself upright. So uh, yeah, that is pretty much the end of the ATST. And I don't know what's happening to this thing now, but I can celebrate my victory, woo! All right, moving on. All right, another one actually I didn't even realize, also by my medic soup, Frogman Arrow, a mech that walks, flies, and swims while firing railgun rifles. I wonder if this is gonna behave similarly to the last one we just saw. Oh man, definitely looks interesting. Oh, look at the head turn. All right, up arrow. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> that, is, that is hilarious. That is a hilarious walking gate. All right, hold on. Uh, how do we do that? What are these railgun rifles? What do these mean? They look like harpoons. Uh, X. Oh, ooh. ooh, that's fancy. All right, let's aim towards this guy over here. X. Oh, what's happening? What's happening? Okay, here we go. Oh, this is actually pretty interesting the way that it goes in the water. Oh, look at that. The backpack automatically adjusts. Oh, that is so cool. That is actually really cool that it has a designated water form. Oh, oh let's go back in the water, please. Now we're just like an Olympic diver that doesn't need a diving board. All right, and we can just fly right out of the water like that, turn our guns on, and uh, auto-stabilize ourselves. Oh, no. Now we're doing yoga. We're doing... 
Doing some robo yoga. Roboga. All right, I'm, let's let's go. Let, let's move on to another creation now. Like I said, I'm just judging these by their looks and a little bit of the description as well. I have not tested the functionality of this. This is wait, what? This is 666 complexity. It does not look like that complex of a uh, of a creation here. So this is Jimmy the Centurion, but with a thunder spear from Mad Max by Genti. This is a really cool shield. Look at the shield art. That's awesome. All right, uh, Q and E. Oh my, oh, look at the shield. That's awesome. Um, so the Thunder Spear has sensors on the end. So of course I got to figure out what that means, but do I look at the walking? Oh, it's so slow. What am I going to spear? All right, you know what? I know what I'm going to spear. I'm going to spear another one of these guys. All right, Jimmy, it is I, Jimmy, the Centurion, and I'm coming for you. Aha, you cannot spear me with my shield in hand. And if you didn't- Oh! Okay. I literally happened. <laughs> he didn't even spear me. I literally ran into his spear with my shield. But, uh, thanks to my shield, I've mostly survived. I only lost a leg, and it looks like he lost a leg and an arm. So it may have cost me a leg, but, uh, at least it didn't cost me an arm and a leg. Like it did Mr. Jimmy over here. Oh no! What happened to my head? It was fine when I left it just a second ago. I guess maybe I am the one who was uh, worse off then. I'd rather something cost an arm and a leg than a head and a leg. Okay, moving on. We have something interesting here by Tiny Giant. This is maybe the smallest possible Lambda. And in case you are unaware, Lambda is a reference to a specific type of mechanical linkage that creates a smooth walking motion. I think I messed around with it in Scrap Mechanic. Maybe even um, Trail Makers, but I think Scrap Mechanic. So, oh, no way. Look at the mouth. The mouth just... The mouth is just kind of like a bobblehead. Oh, that's... The whole thing's a bobblehead. That's so cool. Hold on, I gotta see the settings. To I wanna make a bobblehead. So we got hinges here that have no controls and they just have a strength of 15. So it creates like a bobbly bobblehead mouth. Okay. And then look at this. So this is the Lambda mechanism and you may... <laughs> that looks so good. Hold on, I need to face into the sun for this. The way that the head bobs left and right, it, make, it, it, it makes it look so lifelike. It's so happy. It's so happy. Those don't even look like teeth to me. They just look like cheeks. Uh, uh, yeah, so that is the Lambda mechanism right there. And supposedly, according to the creator, uh, Tiny Giant, this might be the smallest, or at, least, at least this is the smallest that he could get it. I don't know if it's possible to get a smaller version of it. But um, it, as you can see, it makes a pretty smooth ride as far as the, uh, the actual ride of the body goes but the bobblehead just makes it so much better. I love that. Uh, what does space do? Oh, it has guns! Oh, I had no idea it was gonna have guns! Oh, I'm so glad I looked at the controls. I almost forgot. Oh, this is so good. This is like the best walker yet, as far as uh, functionality goes. It walks great. It's super destructive, easy to aim. And uh, oh boy, there goes Jimmy trying to intimidate us. This is a defense mechanism. Go into breakdance moving to be like, oh no, I don't want to get served. All right, and somehow this one's balancing on the edge of the shield. Well, let's get rid of the shield and uh, nothing to balance on no more. There we go. All right, let's move on. That was a beautiful creation. Really liked that one. All right, so next one we have uh, by Nico Webb here. It just says walker that works well. I don't know. Let's put that to the test, I suppose. I don't know what the definition of working well is for a walker, but this is definitely a unique kind of mechanism. Actually, this looks really similar to um, the paddle boat thing I built a little while ago. And oh, wow. Oh, it's stabilizing out. Oh, this is actually, I'm impressed. I gotta be honest, when I saw the shape of it, I was like, I don't know about this thing. But as far as uh, the speed per step, like this is high efficiency, like distance per step. This is really good. And it's pretty smooth as well. I'm impressed with this. This is weird. It almost looks like it's moving faster than it's even walking. Like, it seems like it's floating across the ground. Like, kind of like in video games when they don't have a good walking animation. And every step they take, they're also gliding forward a little bit. So they're technically covering more ground than their steps would be covering. 
It kind of feels like that, but it's literally not that. Each step is actually causing the motion. This is, that's actually a really good walker. I like that a lot. Pleasantly surprised. Looks can be deceiving sometimes. Okay, so up next by Lexus, Le Lexus, Le Lexus. Thunderjaw from Horizon Zero Dawn. I did play Horizon Zero Dawn. I haven't played the latest one though, but this actually looks so good. I mean, it's not quite as massive as the original is, but for a scale model, this thing looks amazing. And oh no. <laughs> oh no, the walking. He looks like he's been injured a bit. He's definitely, I think he's got some like thruster help or something. See now this, this is what I was just talking about. When each step covers more ground than the step should cover because it's like pushing and sliding across the ground. I feel like that's happening a little bit here. Yeah, there's definitely some assistance somewhere, but the creation looks amazing. I love the segmented um, neck and the way that it like flexes a little bit, but we have a lot more buttons for this thing too. Oh, look at the turning. Oh, that's so cool. Ooh, oh. Oh, that looks awesome. That actually is really satisfying to watch. Oh, this is like a manual walking mode. So if I press the, oh, this is way better. If I do the left and right arrows, I can actually, like I'm doing left, right, left, right. I actually control uh, the steps independently, like manually. Whereas if I press W, it does this. Yeah, and operate the legs manually with left and right arrows. Looks way better when you do it manually. All right, uh, I'm gonna leave that one in there because that looks like a fun one to destroy um, on the off chance that one of my next ones has weapons. So this this by Stoker here is a bipedal mech, another bipedal one. Bipedal is always really tough. I mean, this one's kind of bipedal too, but it looks like it uses the hover pad uh, glitch to kind of keep down force on the legs, which will help it balance for sure. All right, so uh, by Stoker, bipedal mech. Let's see how it functions. All right, so apparently, oh, I just noticed, look at the stairs inside. But apparently you gotta press control to start it up. Oh, oh, it gets up and closes up and everything. Oh, for some reason, I thought that this was the front, but now I can see that this looks more like the front. Okay, ooh, oh, no way. I think this actually turns with the legs rather than like a, a reaction servo. So I'm gonna try to turn to my left now. Or it's left rather, um, I am it. Look at that. That right there is really impressive. That is really well done. It's actually turning with walking motion. And you can see the um, the hover pads turn on and off. They're programmed to turn on and off in each foot to give it the balance. So that each foot stays solidified to the ground. But I am just really impressed with the turning ability. Like this is uh, this is one of the first walkers I've seen, like a bipedal walker that can actually turn one step at a time using the legs themselves. All right, so we also have guns. Um, it's actually, it's hard to do fine movements on the turning though to turn where I wanna go. There we go. Oh, that looks kind of smooth actually. Oh, oh, look at that. We can do five mo fine movements. I love, it looks so natural too. I look like I'm starting like the, the beginning steps of like a epic dance I'm about to do. Oh, this is cool. I actually choose which gun I want to activate and control. And I press one again, and now I can't use it, but if I press two, now I can use the same controls for the other gun. So we'll go back to one. Oh, now they're both active. I didn't realize I could control both at the same time. So I got to activate and deactivate them independently. Okay, so now we got the right gun and space will do that. Okay, all right, we're just ripping the head to shred. It's gone, head's gone. All right, let's switch over to the other gun. This is actually a really high-tech mech. Oh, does this just turn in place? I just noticed Q and E are there, and it looks like it'll just slowly turn in place doing this, but I almost kind of feel like this is uh, faster. This actually looks kind of cool too. Wow, I gotta admit, this is way more high-tech than I was expecting. Being able to turn the guns on and off and independently control them with the same keys is pretty cool and being able to walk and turn with our own two feet is uh it's pretty epic good job on this all right, okay up next by one two one three eight seven six two oh two a name i will surely never forget uh spider x x to start walking this is just all automatic this is some pretty heavy programming as well what are those sensors though oh i think those are some balance sensors Using a speed sensors to balance like that is interesting. All right, we got a bunch of arrows. Oh, I can turn the body around. 
Aim it up and down. That's pretty cool. Left alt. Oh, it just kicked a barrel. Don't kick that barrel. I am turning. Oh, this is going to be bad. This is bad news here. I'm, I'm here for it, though. Oh. <laughs> that was a bit of a, um... Delayed annihilation. All right, apparently there's also a flight mode. Oh my god. Oh, look at that. Oh no. Wait, 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 wait. Oh my goodness, it's auto stabilizing in the air. Okay. And we've got a backpack, jet pack, pack, jet pack, jet pack. I know what these words are. I just trying to combine them all into one syllable. Oh, there's the guns. I found them. Oh, that's cool. This is actually pretty cool too. Can I shoot myself? Oh, uh, the answer to that question is yes. Yeah, so this is kind of an interesting build. It's like an assault mech torso slapped on top of a four-legged spider walker that can also uh, fly. And of course, it's got some pretty crazy firepower too. All right, let's get back down to the ground. Nailed it. Okay, and then last up, I had to save this one for last. This is by MechX, and this is uh, calling back to Boston Dynamics again. An attempt at building a Boston Dynamics robo dog. So I was really curious how this thing was going to feel. Did that th Wait, did that thing just try to balance itself? That tells me that I don't think this has an auto reaction wheel balancer like some of these other things have, where it's just the servo spinning to balance it. I think this thing actually balances using itself. I'm gonna, all right, let's just try to walk. Okay. Oh no. Oh, it just did that on its own. Hold on. I'm just pressing forward right now. It's a nice smooth walk to be honest. Like considering how small these leg movements are, and it's kind of like the real thing too. If you've seen the original spot, Boston Dynamics dog, it, it walks kind of like this. Like it's just, it's the subtlest movement if you're looking at the individual joints, but it's working so well. And oh, 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 we're countering a little bit of obstacles here. See how it handles it. Oh, we're gonna fall. No, 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 no. I wanna see it try to balance again, but it needs to like fall. Oh, I just turned to the left. It's totally using the legs to do that. Oh, we're about, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> That's me making the noise. Apparently, if I press space, it makes noise. And I think now is the time to make noise. But it really seems like um, when I'm turning... Oh, yeah, look at that. That's so cool. Another one... See, this is always the most impressive thing to me with walkers. Oh, look at the backwards motion. That's so different. But yeah, the most impressive thing to me with walkers is when you actually use the walking mechanics to turn. All right, uh, there's also Q and E. Oh, no way. All right, hold on. I got to get to flat ground over here. It looks like it actually has a uh, strafe. Oh my goodness. It's a little sketchy, but it's kind of working. It's so cool to watch it actually adjust to getting off of balance. It's not just the same motion repeated and if it falls over, whatever. If it makes a mistake, it actually changes how far it's moving its legs to counterbalance, which is amazing. Oh, and uh, I've pushed it too far. Literally pushed it too far. I just want to, I just want it to like tip slightly. Oh, there we go. You see it put, push its left legs out after it was going to fall to the right. Come on. There we go. Oh, it tried, but I pushed it too much. It's just, you know, it's just like a human. If you get pushed too far off balance, you're going to lose your balance. But little tiny adjustments, it does seem capable of countering itself, which is pretty awesome. All right, you know what? In good old Boston Dynamics fashion, I just want to give a little push. Just give a little nudge. Oh, no. Oh, look at it try. It's trying so hard. <laughs> oh, what happened to me? Is this... Hey, is... I didn't press a button to do this, I don't think. I think this was, this was just by happen chance. I look like a dog begging now. I want to give it a treat. Okay, Spot, I got a treat for you. Here you go. Just doing my part to make sure the robot uprising doesn't come too soon. Wait a minute. I'm making sure that the robot uprising doesn't come too soon with an arguably even more advanced robot that has weapons. Maybe this isn't the right strategy to combat the robot uprising. But anyway, that was a really fun assortment of walkers. Did you have a particular favorite? Let me know down in the comments below. And uh, if you'd like to see other types of creations in these workshop videos, let me know because I saw uh, some people mentioned walkers in the last video. So you got walkers in this video. But if you enjoyed this one, you'll probably enjoy some more that you can find on the end screen right here. Click this, click this video right here or this 
playlist or whatever video playlist. And I hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.